We know we're late to the party, but Costco Canada just got the Galar tins. Are they worth buying? Let's get into these Gal Pal tins, as I like to call them. They're the Galarian Pal tins. And yes, you know, we understand that these have been out for a while, but Costco Canada just came out with them and they are hard to open, of course. But let's see what's inside. There are two different types of packs with different tins in them. And, oh, look at that beautiful Eevee coin. And we've got Brilliant Stars and Evolving Skies for four and change a pack. That is absolutely fantastic. And of course, they come with these little cards that make up an image of all the Galar friends together, which all of these tins make because you get one tin of each. So that's so much fun. Now, as we open these up, let's see whether or not there are some good pulls. In the past, as you guys may or may not know, the Pokeballs that they had last year were not great as far as pulls. So hopefully this is better. Let's go fire. Hopefully we find some amazing fire today in these tins. We picked up a few of these at our local Costco this week. I am sure you will see these in your Costco Canada over the next couple weeks if you don't already have them and we've got a grim snarl for our rare let's go evolving skies and see if we have anything in this now the tins themselves aren't repackaged so I am expecting to at least get a couple hits today um, just because they're coming directly from the factory let's go water um, but whether or not we're gonna see some crazy pulls like you do in the elite trainer box packs that we got uh, a couple months ago out of Costco I'm just not sure what to expect there are a couple different versions of these as well Fletchlander and we've got a Pinsir for our rare. So next tin here, we've got Grookey hanging out and having some fun. Oh my goodness, the packaging on these is so crazy. Of course, another EV coin. The large coins are a lot of fun. And of course, the same pack selection. So with that being said, I am expecting the same pack selection in all of these tins, but we'll have to wait and see to make sure that that is actually the case. Now, there are other tins that I have been open that I've seen have Brilliant Star and Fusion Strike in them. Let's go fighting. Of course, it's water. And so there is the possibility of Brilliant and Fusion Strike. But for the most part, I've seen Brilliant Stars and Evolving Skies. And honestly, for the price per booster out of these, it is absolutely a great deal. But will the hits be there? We're going to have to find out. Zorark and a Gigalith. My goodness. Okay. Four packs in and nothing crazy as far as hits are concerned, but it is but the beginning. I really hope we pull a couple really, really fun cards. Let's go water. A lot of, of green energy today. Execute, Grimer, Cliff Fairy, Badoof, Electabuzz, Friends in Galler, Oh, and a professor's research, a very playable card. So, hey, if you are into the TCG, that is definitely a nice card to have around. That's for sure. OK. Third tin. Let's see. Yup. Brilliant star with a Charizard front there and evolving skies. Let's do brilliant stars first, of course. That Mew is still one of my chase cards from this set. He is just absolutely beautiful. And if I could pull him for one of you, that would be even more amazing. Let's go fire, cause you know, it's Charizard. We gotta, we gotta think that, that fiery cast form. Shroomish, Piplup, Mincino, and a Wormadom for our rare. My goodness, is there, is there even gonna be one hit in these? Now we have bought a few of these, so I am intrigued to see 
whether or not um, any of them are gonna have some good hits at this rate. But hey, we've got two more tins to go. Let's go water. Fletchlinder, Lantern, Treasure Energy, Psyduck, Swablu, Woobat, Eevee having some fun, Treasure Energy, oh, and a Jumpluff, Hollow. That is a beautiful card. But unfortunately, not the full art we were looking for. I hope you guys really enjoyed our 500 sub celebration video that we did on Tuesday. If you haven't seen it, please go watch it. It's adorable. Well, okay, I'm, I might be a little bit... Uh, a little bit biased on that one, but I really enjoyed shooting it for you guys and I hope you guys really enjoyed that video. Okay, as we expected, exact same pack selection, but will there be any hits? My goodness. Hey, I'll enjoy opening cards any day. Let's go water. Oh, a fighting energy. That's, haven't gotten one of those yet today. Gossifleur, Feebas, Hippopotas, Lillipup, Nicket, Dweeble, and an Eldegoss Hollow. So we've got some hollows under our belt. Hey, I'll take it. When it comes to Brilliant Stars and Evolving Skies, at the price they are sitting at right now, even if we're not getting crazy hits, this is a really fun way to open some of these packs that are just honestly really hard to come by right now. Let's go water. And not only that, but really expensive. So if your kids or if anyone is into these two sets and just can't justify the crazy prices of these sets right now, this is a really fun way to be able to keep collecting these cards. Oh, and we've got something, gang. Shaman V. What a beautiful Shaman. Let's take a look at it under the microscope. Shaman V. There's absolutely no shame in pulling a Shaman. Now, last tin here can more pico and yamper bring us some luck of course that ev coin joining us again and the exact same pack set we are gonna do charizard brilliant stars first and then we will do our beautiful evolution pack from evolving skies next you know could could the moon Brion be in this tin it's possible it's possible let's go fighting Ultra Ball, Vabrava, Sock, Corefish, Gallet, Chimcho, Chimchar, Didene, and a Grim Snarl for our rare last pack. So hey, the the Poke Gods were not in my favor today, but I would still recommend that you buy these tins if you plan on just you know opening them up and having some some good fun with some Pokemon cards. Let's go water for our last pack of the day today. And I just I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Congratulations to last week's winner. And don't forget to come back next week to find out whether or not you've won today's cards. And yes, if you're interested to find out how how to do that it's very simple comment down below anything you'd like would you buy these tins that would be a great information for me to know if you'd like to leave that down below that would be amazing and simply subscribe it is that easy okay last card digging glove and a milo tick for our rare well what an opening i hope you guys have enjoyed it we'll see you guys next week and don't forget to keep on chasing off did you miss our 500 sub celebration? Check it out over here.